Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur for the first time. Behind my back you can see the Patronas Towers. Uh, it was one of the most high building in the world for a long time. And honestly, I don't know what is Malaysia, what is culture of Malaysia, what is Kuala Lumpur, how the city looks like, what the structure of the city I have literally no idea so let's figure it out together and join me on my day in malaysia on my day in kuala lumpur and by the way it's my birthday <laughs> so yeah so let's start from the city center and we are going right to patronas tower basically it's a mall with uh, some type of uh, business center or offices inside, I don't know for sure. And it's very impressive. I mean, it's silver and it's shiny at night especially. And it's pointy. <laughs> yeah, the shape of the building is very interesting and unusual. And surrounded by Petronas Towers, there are a lot of guys with cameras who offer their uh, offer the photo shoot <laughs> uh, in front of the Petronas Towers and there are a lot of them, really huge amount of guys offering a photo shoot and I don't need it because I have my own camera and yeah it's my first video on my own camera before because before I shoot it on Dennis camera and today as I said it's my birthday so it's it was my birthday present yeah, there you go Run. okay so we are going closer like this we are going closer to the Tronas Towers and already you can see our camera boys. <laughs> yeah, I think we can go to the mall. And it's really hot now in this time of the year here, as all time of the year. <laughs> There's one time of the year in this country. But yeah. right now it's hotter than usual. My bodyguard. Thank you, thank you. No, thank you. I have my yeah, own camera. <laughs> oh yeah. So they close this down. Usually it's open. It's the first time it's closed here ever. I have to walk around a little bit. With these old buses. Yeah, and. Everything is so bright here. I mean the colors. Colors are so so bright. I mean advertisement, buses, some signs. It's so colorful. You're In Ukraine there is a similar Okay. Scooter with bolt? Yes. Yeah. Let me show you the area a little bit. Uh, behind me there are some nice, <laughs> some nice sexy humble men and also some fountains. And this area is very impressive. This huge giant Petronas Towers is surrounded by other towers which is so impressive too and they are like in a video game like in a science fiction really and i really like this small trees called banzai I, i'm not sure if it's uh, chinese or japanese uh, definitely asian maybe it's malaysian <laughs> so write in the comments what is the origin of banzai tree and this is the bonsai tree. 
yeah very nice chill area people are hanging out here just chilling having some type of picnics having coffee or boba tea in asia boba tea is like cult of uh, boba tea really and i understand why because it's so delicious honestly it's so fucking delicious yeah and what i don't understand so far is the what kind of religion are uh, popular in malaysia for sure i noticed that it's kind of Muslim country but uh, because I, I haven't find uh, pork on the street like in Thailand or like in China uh, so yeah and uh, I'm not sure if you know you can also write it down or I will figure it out next few days and yeah very interesting also, it's a time of uh, Chinese New Year, so everything is um, celebrating, everything is uh, in uh, these red colors, decorations, uh, a lot of dragons, they sell uh, Chinese national candies and all this stuff in the malls, uh, so we are on the right time here in Malaysia. Ooh so fucking hot <laughs> I think we should go inside of the mall because really uh, 35 degrees you feel like uh, 40 because humidity is so high uh, I'm expecting the rain today I'm expecting the storm because I want to see the storm <laughs> yeah I'm a weirdo It's first time when it's so crowded. Maybe it's people who wanna go upstairs. Yeah. First time busy like that. First time, yeah. A lot of tourists now. Probably the old bus is broken. <laughs> but we are going to the mall. Yeah, we are. Like a sky bridge here, viewpoint. Yeah, maybe Never they been. are going there. Yeah. We already have been in this mall and it has uh, everything you need. It has a nice food court, a supermarket downstairs, a movie theater, all kind of stores like you can find Zara here and also Gucci stuff, uh, boba tea, coffee, everything. And it's so cold here. <laughs> yeah, finally I can breathe because the, the hot weather is is so hard for me really what's wrong with my hair today I can't understand yeah much better so we are going to check their cinema uh, because it's Wednesday and on Wednesdays uh, tickets are cheaper in most countries I didn't know that uh, the Danny the Danny <laughs> Danny just told me so now I know and also as I said it's my birthday so we're gonna go to the cinema because I like movies we like movies I like watching movies and yeah you can see the Chinese New Year celebration oh my god it's it's so good really I'm a fan of uh, New Year I'm a fan of like regular New Year European and Eastern European and it's my first time uh, Chinese New Year and I'm, I'm really a fan of it like literally this candies, this music, this decorations are great really crowded today don't know why, maybe because it's my birthday <laughs> National Malaysian Day. <laughs> yeah, again some decorations. Oh my god, the smell is so good. 
smells good. Fast pastries. Today is much easier than the other days. What is it? Wednesday? My birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the fireworks? Where is the fireworks? We already have fireworks. Where? I did them on the cake. today with an avocado he For gives me avocado like a birthday present and I was confused but then the other present came and I was so happy yeah we are in a food court now and again I have no idea what is Malaysian national food national cuisine uh, I haven't tried anything yet. Maybe I will do the separate video about Malaysian food. Uh, but you can also find uh, some Subway here, McDonald's, KFC, uh, some pizza, some Western food. And there are a lot of Indian food and there are a lot of Arab food. I don't know why, uh, but they, they like it. They, they like it and I like Arab cuisine too and Indian too and yeah here we go Subway Malaysian cuisine. <laughs> my tradition yeah we tried Subway here and it was so good really uh, it was my second time trying Subway and it was so juicy uh, so tender the bread was perfectly baked, warm, and everything was so fresh and yeah, Subway was good here. Chen Chen curry! What is it? What is it? Yeah, food courts are kind of similar to Thailand, but still not the same. Different dishes for sure, but uh, the concept is, uh, is similar or even the same, I would say. Uh, but the, yeah. uh, suddenly the security came to me and told me that it's not allowed to shoot. But I'm a blondie criminal, it's my USB. Yeah, let's check the movie theater. I think someone will approach me again. I'm scared. So we're gonna watch today... What we wanna watch today? Our guy, I think. Yeah, some new no, no, movie. 8 p.m. or 9? I think we can go at 8 after dinner or before dinner well, 8 is after already yeah 8 is after so maybe 9 8 or 9 we'll see there's plenty of tickets as you see mm -hmm. 17 ring how much is it? Uh, $350 $350 but it's Wednesday it's a special day right? something like that yeah yeah, on Wednesday the tickets are cheaper. For your birthday. For my birthday, everything, yeah, everything is for my birthday today. Should be free. And the cinema looks very nice, uh, but honestly Thai cinemas was the most impressive in my life. Malaysia no? is more impressive. Really? Thai has, I mean the icon Siam is insane. Yeah. But in Malaysian malls every cinema is like really, like this is like, Average. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are in a city I mean, we, we went to this like small shitty movie theater in Bangkok. It was okay. It was so good. This one's better than. Really? I would say so. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. We are on the ground floor, and there are lots of some cosmetics, Victoria's Secret, uh, some jewelries, some small shops. Chinese, different snacks, yeah, and we are near the supermarket and 
Honestly, I was surprised that there are a lot of uh, import products in a supermarket like the widest variety of different foods, of different uh, import stuff and you absolutely can find anything in the supermarket in Kuala Lumpur but I feel the lack of local products a little bit but it's not a problem Wow, cute, cute dresses. Oh my god, I want something. Something like that. I just need something like that in my life. I don't know why, but I just need it. Blueberry yogurt looks so good, but I would not be sure. If I feel wild, then I would get blueberry. If I feel conservative, I would get fudgy. So which one would you prefer? Yeah, Danny trying to guess which cake I would prefer for my birthday. And the answer is... I should have uh, write it down to be, to be fair. Uh, chocolate walnut cake. Not blueberry yogurt? Not blueberry I would have not got blueberry yogurt anymore. Or strawberry cake. Strawberry looks so what good. What are you talking about? You told me no way something like that. I would have never even think about it. You said no fruits, no matter what. No fruits, but it's white cream. Yeah, white cream is good. And chocolate is good. Yeah. But pistachio is just great. Danny Best. bought me pistachio cake and I really like pistachio. Yeah, we haven't yeah. tried yet, but better say it's good later. Yeah. Brazzles. <laughs> the mall you can see a really beautiful peaceful area basically it's a park looks like a central uh, park in New York a little bit because it's surrounded by huge uh, scrapers scrapers huge buildings and uh, Chinese celebrations again the cool giant dragon and in the evening there are uh, fountains, like a fountain show. Uh, it's really beautiful, beautiful. We already saw it. And yeah, really nice nature. I definitely like all this greenery and I definitely like the variety of greenery. So you can see the palm trees and at the same time some uh, trees that are common in Europe and bonsai <laughs> of course yeah and with this red decoration it looks really really interesting yeah there are so many buildings here and recently we saw the movie uh, I will and recently we saw the movie uh, that was shoot in Malaysia I will uh, I will show you somewhere somewhere here the title and it was uh, shoot 20 years ago so basically we saw uh, how these buildings uh, was built and how this area was looks like uh, 20 years ago and it's so cool and the storyline of the movie was also great uh, like uh, early early 2000 vibe uh, very nice scenery very nice plot so I recommend to watch it if you want to go to Kuala Lumpur to um, inspire uh, yourself a little bit and to prepare yourself for this cool cool uh, buildings <laughs> for this cool area yeah and 
Danny told me some funny story. I, I really find it funny about Patronus Towers that uh, some guy was trying to climb up to the peak twice and it's it's really funny because it's so big and how you can even how that idea can come to your mind I mean yeah for sure it can come to your mind but Honestly, it's, it looks pretty good for climbing I mean look at it it's what like is made that? For it, it, it looks pretty good for climbing yeah because every like three meters there's like metal things to hold on yeah but you have to be physically uh, this guy's developed. doing well this guy's doing this as like that's what he's doing he climbed like all ah. the tall shit climbed a couple of towers in China, Eiffel Tower. That's yeah. His, that's and, his USB. And he gets fined? Huh? Uh, I mean, he got fined like a couple hundred dollars on the cup. Where are we going? Bukit Bintang. What is it? So this was KLCC, it's like city center, business district. Bukit Bintang is like hotels, malls. Then it becomes like a bit more like Indian, Arab town, the other end. This one in the neighborhood, 20 minutes walk. Okay. Proper meal, you can buy it. I think they can heat it up. And yeah, oh, cool. What is that? Some ice, some colorful ice. Okay, we will get the drink and then we will go to another area. I, I forgot the name to another area. Bit in Okay, so the rain begins as I expected it's a little shower yeah it's just it's just starting but we already feel it and I'm drinking Vida is some um, kind of national drink I, I've never seen uh, this before in uh, any other Asian country and it's it's really good like zero calorie drinks sparkling salty lychee almost my favorite flavor yeah we should find a place to hide maybe yeah or we Here's will be the walk all the way to the mall it's under the cover mm -hmm. or let's be wet and sexy
What are you watching? The sickest YouTuber in the game, new on the scene, about to fucking pop. Oh, really? Is she hot? Yeah, she's alright. Somebody <laughs> saved the refugee. Okay. Okay, yeah, check my Kochang video also. Of course, it's so uh, interesting. We almost killed the monkey, right? so. Uh, what I wanted to say is that in Asia, these kind of bridges that connect buildings with each other uh, are so popular and developed and there is no such things in Europe or in Ukraine and it's really easy, for instance, now it's starting to rain and we just go up and go all the way to the area we want to go uh, covered fully covered i think it's somewhat air conditioned it's not as hot here yeah. yeah and it's not as hot here because humidity is walking high neighborhood now that is colorful yeah. not where we have been before seriously every time I'm Kuala Lumpur some new condo buildings this one looks new here is where the city really changes you know Why? slowly well it's still modern like back there is like super modern fancy big buildings oh look wow I never seen the elevator see it that's pretty cool. It's a hotel? Yeah, yeah Hilton. Uh, so basically, um, here is still kind of modern, but then we walk further and that's the place we stayed the first day, you know? Uh -huh. So it starts to get like really more old school behind the street back there. Yeah, first day we stayed in ghetto. Yep. Cheap, cheap. It's cool when you firstly arrive to the city and uh, live in a, like, not the best area. like to feel the difference, to see the contrast, to still be impressed 
yeah. that's why you weren't impressed in Hong Kong, huh? Yeah, in Hong Kong we already uh, like moved to the fanciest yeah, place. Yeah, we started right? from the best hotel, then it was even better, and the last one was just uh, crazy masterpiece paradise, uh, five star, billion star hotel, JV Marriott. But we stayed in Ghetto also. Oh, look at that, second tallest building in the world. See it? Merdeka Tower. Oh, we'll go there some other day. Yeah, people selling, selling flowers. Maybe it's because my birthday. Wow. Really nice food court. Very impressive variety of food and cuisine. And they really like Arab food and Turkish food and kebab. I like it too. Very good price. Pahlava? Oh my god, Pahlava. <laughs> Why? Stop it. I already gained weight. <laughs> yeah. There's the Shawarma Street. I don't know what officially it's considered, but to me that's kind of like more Arab neighborhood. And then you keep further going, and then there's like Chinatown. Mm -hmm. And also like a couple of India streets. It's all the time mixed, but sometimes it's more of one nationality. Mm -hmm. So here it's all halal kebab. Well, halal really nice. kebab is really good shawarma at Damascus. The professional, yeah, the is, professional is telling you. I've tried two shawarmas and this one was the best, trust me. Shawarma connoisseur yeah. here. Usually I don't like. Okay. I like shawarma with my niece and she don't. You barely eat any shawarma. You barely eat anything. It's true. <laughs> I will eat some Arab food today. Yes, we will. Because it's my birthday. Yep. I'll take it to the Arab office. Yeah. No Michelin, no nothing, no. True Arab restaurant. Yes. With shisha. But I don't need shisha. And here is a public transport. MRT like in Thai, uh, in Bangkok there are a lot of lines uh, on, uh, above the ground level and it looks so good. Here is always, it is also. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, again. the small one if you would have not pressured me now I bought like something huge uh, yeah am I bullying you to no, your video no. <laughs> so a bit cheaper here than the city but about the same but I think yeah they are very similar to, to the city to those we saw in the city yeah, let's buy the waves. And if you want to buy some new Nike replica, you can definitely do it in this area. Yeah, I think you can buy almost everything here. <laughs> The vibe is so different. Line. 
Damn, it smells good though. Smells very good. I have no idea. It looks yeah, something Chinese it. though. But I thought roti is Indian. This is roti. This is something different. Here, see? Yes, but it's the same. They, they make it like... Yeah, probably. Yeah, very cool. Very thin... Uh, dough. Dough, very thin dough and a lot of fillings. That's great. That's why the line is so big. You are, but we won't stand in the line, right? We never stand in the line. The line is for peasants. You learned well, you learned well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also you can see the huge antenna lotus tower. TV tower. Very nice, very pointy. If you saw movie Dictator, you know why <laughs> I like the world. Word pointy and pointy buildings. Everything pointy. Very red. So I think it's some kind of uh, Chinese tradition. You write something down, maybe it's a wish and then you put it on a artificial bamboo stick. It's interesting. In Ukraine we have uh, another tradition when uh, in the midnight when the new year is coming, uh, you write down your wish, your desires on a piece of paper, a sheet of paper, then you burn it, then you put it in a champagne glass and then you drink it. Yeah, so weird. I never find it weird. Wow. Oh my god. Look at this. So beautiful. Everywhere. Every mall has a different decorations, but all of them are great. really high speed and the interesting thing about KL is that um, surrounded by these huge buildings there are one old house very very beautiful uh, very unique and authentic and it's not a common thing at all uh, it's great that locals don't uh, sell their land. It's got a Chulan. Yeah, and some old hotel named Chulan. In Ukrainian, Chulan means a uh, useless room on a roof. <laughs> Funny. But the hotel is beautiful. Yeah, almost every hotel here looks quite alright. Um, of course, the big hotels like Shangri-La, Four Seasons, JV, JW, JW, yeah, uh, looks fantastic and some old hotels look cool too, yeah. We're going to the park, we're going to be there in five minutes. We're going to the park? Yeah, we're at the other end of the park now, so we have mm -hmm. been at the front, now we're on the back. Oh, I see the Patronas from here. Yeah, everything is so close, everything is so walkable. Rainy Park. Yes, my first Asian rain. But it's still not proper, we need more. Yeah. Come, let's go here. Oh, wait a minute, is this drinking? Oh, yes, that's what we need Whoa. right now. I got oh. you. Woo! Oh, oh. Yeah, just open your mouth and then just... No! This. No! Under maintenance. Oh no, maybe drink this one? No, don't drink it. It's not clean. Let's go. Let's get some water. Ooh. It's all out. Yeah, you know, too bad. Now it rained a little bit proper, huge drops, but not, not all the way yet. 
so great. Yeah, and then it clears up in 20 minutes. It's crazy around here. So, KLCC, there's always some brother doing some TikToks. Yeah. And the views you get from out here, I don't know. Like, some people don't like Kuala Lumpur, but I feel like if you find the corners that you enjoy, like, I love parks, going for walks, and I feel like, and I love, like, skylines, and look at that. What do you think? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see, how can we... Some people go swimming down there, even right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You Mostly kids, but... We're kids at heart. So, it's a playground. I actually wanted to go to that bridge, but I'm a bit wrong here. I'll pick you up later, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Enjoy yourself. I need to party. It's your birthday. Yeah. Maybe you don't know, it's my daughter right here. I didn't plan to go in, but okay. Dancing in the rain, everybody. So stuck in the mall again because of the rain. We are a little bit stuck, and we are so hungry. What did you buy there? Uh, mixed birds nest. Oop with collagen drink. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, but I like weird stuff. Every single weird drink there's at 7-Eleven will be purchased by this individual. So, heading to the Arab restaurant. Yes, absolutely. Certainly. What are you gonna eat? Uh, lamb, meat, meat, lamb and fatouche. I love fatouche. It's the best salad in the world. Lisa is always insecure that she comes across dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Trust me guys, she's too smart. Too smart. You want a Barbie doll for your birthday? What? No, it's a wet doll. Oh, it's a wet brush. Perfect, just what I was looking for. Why did you show me that? Now uh, I will. Which one's you? Uh, find. Uh, which one's you? This one. Who are you? Hi. Who are you? Who is that? You are the beast then. I am. Okay. <laughs> Actually. Uh, I was looking for Mulan, yes, but there is no Mulan. There is no Mulan. You are Harry proper. Here, you are Gryffindor. I'm Slytherin. Here, you are Winnie Pooh. <laughs> no. I'm not Chinese friend. I decided to buy some presents for my mom because I was in Hong Kong and I haven't bought anything Chinese for her uh, but I'm a, I'm a good daughter so and my mom always the uh, same as me likes trying different kind of uh, stuff and sweets all over the world so I think I will choose something from this variety of cookies let's see what they have um almond bisco looks so good and matcha latte cookies yeah maybe maybe sakura yeah let, let's choose something from here i think i will i would go for matcha or sakura So, uh, I bought some uh, coconut uh, sakura uh, coconut sakura cookies, and it's they have some uh, nice, nice, very cute uh, packaging. I hope my mom will like it um, because I'm obsessed with cookies. Yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> finally I've got something for my mom, so uh, I'm kind of uh, released now. 
but I'm getting to a shopping flow and it's it's a really bad news because I'm getting crazy and I already want to buy everything and probably I will buy something more yeah then you will kill me uh, because he he hates shopping and he hates uh, all uh, kinds of like scams touristy uh, prices but uh, I'm okay with that I'm okay with that so yeah where are we Rest. It's also where we live. Yeah, it's near our condo. All right there. Yeah. Careful with the this. So many people slip here. I slipped here myself once. Let's go in, Habibi. Let's choose a seat. Ooh. I would do hummus with lamb. Cool. Um, then there is fatouche. Fatouche. I came for yeah. Fatouche. I'll have a lamb soup. Great. And some meat. Uh, some lamb. <laughs> but what kind of lamb? There are there are a lot of variety of different lambs. Maybe some main meal like molokia lamb. Or, or just real lamb, I don't know. But we will find out. Yeah. We will choose. Yeah. Also potos. And lamb chop. Uh, that's crazy. They have a robot that deliver food. For us? Right? Yes, oh it's your potos. They deliver your tattoo. Thank you. Wow. And the photo looks insane. What the heck is that? It's a uh, salad, uh, like fresh. With uh, crackers. Yeah. Uh, and with sauce. And when you mix it, it's. Yeah. It's so good. I Show just... how it's done. Goodbye, robot. The cutest waiter in my life. So yeah, you have to mix it all. And the portion is so large, it's even hard to, to mix it. And then... You enjoy Very good. Oh my god, warm bread, hummus, and lamb soup. Try it. Real deal. So, what I should try first? Almost for soup. Yeah. Almost. Oh my God! This bread, so warm, and this hummus. Oh yeah. It's like real birthday dinner. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Your friends. Robot is going off with our food. Yep. Thank you very much. Uh, no, we'll keep it. Or you're finishing it? <laughs> then finish. Thank, Thank you. you. So Robot's gone. Lamp has arrived. Back home from the Kuala Lumpur <laughs> mega vlog. Yeah. Nice apartment, yo. 
Yeah, let's Welcome go. to the crib. You. I'll show you. It's our birthday mask. Not mask, mask. And yeah, it was my full day exploring Kuala Lumpur. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because uh, most interesting stuff, most sexy stuff, more, most spicy stuff are. Uh, it's there and yeah follow me to see the more stuff on youtube is very tender more adventures here take over oh my back hurts yeah <laughs> follow me to see more to feel more to join me on my journey around the world Damn. <sighs>